There's something the Lord showed me that I want to say. So, I kept silent over it. But something now finally happened. And I had the news about the, I don't know what it's called, either a flood or whatever. There was a disaster in Malawi that, you know, I think life were lost or displaced. So, I decided to, you know, just put them in prayers. As I was praying for them, the same revelation reappeared again. The Lord opened my eyes. And I saw something about Malawi concerning the current president of Malawi by name Ato, Ato Peter something, Motarika, I don't know if I pronounce it well. As the man appeared before me, there is something going on in his life that he doesn't want to tell anybody. As I'm talking now, that man has an issue of health. And nobody knows about it. Maybe somebody close, some people close to him might know about it. As the Lord opened my eyes, the angel asked me to pray. And I asked the people of Malawi to pray for their president. Whatever that shall cause him die, the Lord will renew his life. Church, shall we say he shall not die? Amen. But there is something bothering to me as I was talking now the throne. Of Malawi appear. I think Malawi is about to go to their election a few months from now. And as I was looking in the spirit realm, what shocked me is that the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the next president of Malawi. Can I prophesy here? And my eye behold. That the sitting president of Malawi is still having the oil in his head to rule Malawi for the next five years. As I was looking at that in the spirit realm, something happened in the spirit realm. I was hearing voices. And these voices were like voices that are crying. And they were crying. When I asked Angel, why are these voices? He spoke to me that the majority, a lot of people are crying and praying that God should remove the president. And I asked why. He said because that what belongs to the people has been taken by a lot that are around Mr. President of Malawi. And as I saw it in the spirit realm, the voice became so loud. But in as much as I still see him sitting on the seat of Malawi after the next election, I want to give him a warning. And let him go and make a query all the countries have given warning. I gave my hand a warning. Before I told him my son and I could have been the next president, he came to pass. I gave the Sri Lankans warning. And when they, if they follow the prophecy I gave concerning Nigeria that just came to pass recently, they will understand that, 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 that sometimes, sometimes the Lord might give somebody an opportunity, but when that person misuses that opportunity, God may raise somebody for himself. Sir, Mr. President of Malawi, out of Peter, let me tell you and give you this warning. If you do not remove those people around your presidency, that has been siphoning, taking what belongs to the populace of that country. You will not be the next president of Malawi. The voices are so loud. The voices are so loud crying. God will raise somebody. And let me give you a secret. At this time, as you are about to choose those that are going to work with you. Maybe your vice president or some other things. Go and look for men that has the fear of God, that are ready to contribute in developing your country. Use them as those you want to work with this time. If you do not use them, from now to that election time, I'm equally going to make another comment. But hear me and hear me well. If you do not use them, if you do not use them, the cry might be hard. 
and the throne might be taken away from you. But as I'm giving this prophecy now, as I'm talking now, the throne of Malawi still is still with you. And what it means is that you will win the next election. But I hear the warning of the prophet. If you disobey, go and ask other president that disobeyed. What happened to them? All of them are former presidents now. And I want to say to you, go and look for men that have fear of God. Since the oil is still there, that means the wisdom of leadership is still with you. But you must have to pray because of your health so that death will not smile over you. And with what the Lord has revealed to me, I hold on to the word of God till the day it shall come to pass. And I said, Paul says, the Lord.